Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. I'm from San Miguel Island, which is part of the archipelago of the Azores. And I am here to share a little bit of my journey with you and my culture. So today, what I plan on doing is teaching you or showing you one of our traditional foods, which is called risois. Uh, risois is technically little mini patties, which is a dough filled with stuffing, and then typically they're fried or they could be also baked in the oven, but the ones that I'm making today is specifically for frying because if you do try to air fry them or put them in the oven, they're not going to turn out as good. I will be making, oh, one, two, three, I plan on making four different fillings, so there's going to be one filled with meat, there's going to be one filled with uh, chorizo, one with shrimp, and maybe one with tuna if I have time for that today. I did want to make one with codfish, but I don't have codfish, I did not buy enough to make the filling, so, and also we do already have a lot um, to accomplish today for four fillings. If I don't get to the last one, which is a tuna, that's okay, I'll do it another day. My goal is to really get um, the meat, the shrimp, and the churis one. If you do not know what churis is, churis is a Portuguese sausage um, made with our seasonings and also pimenta moida. Uh, pimenta moida is one of our main seasonings here in the Azores. It's a pepper paste made out of ground red chili peppers. So I'm going to start with by prepping my onions and garlic. I'm going to chop up all my onions and a bunch of my garlic cloves so we have that prepped and it will be faster to get things going after. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around, throw it away. See if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I look. But if I'm gonna lose you
Okay, so I am now going to prepare my work surface, which if you can see here, I have um, a countertop to work on. I'm just going to take all this stuff off of it, disinfect the countertop, and then we're going to start making our dough so that we can put our dough cooling on the countertop while um, we make the filling. I fall asleep, yeah I need you with me by my side I'm gonna get to disinfecting this countertop. I already sprayed it with the Lysol. Pass a rag on it so that it's nice and clean to work on top. dough. It's not very complicated. You're just going to need one mug or cup. Whatever mug you use or cup that you use, it will be the same, the same measurement for everything. So you're going to need two cups of milk, and then after you'll need two cups of water. And now we're going to put in four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to sprinkle this with a little bit of salt and I'm doing that now because the, I, then if I don't do it now, I'll forget later on. Now we're going to put this on the stove and while this is warming up, I will be separating four cups with the same mug that I used of flour. This is what it's looking like. What we're going for is for it to start to boil. And once it boils, we're going to turn down the heat and slowly put in the flour, mix it all together until it forms a dough. hope you can see this it is starting to boil so I'm gonna turn down the heat and we're gonna slowly add in the flour and now we're just gonna mix until it forms a dough Turning off the heat now, I'm going to come over to my countertop. When I 
this cool and while we let it cool we're going to start um, our filling here's my prepared onion and garlic <laughs> I know it looks like a lot but what I don't use for the onion I will freeze and the garlic I think I'll use it all because I kind of measured it more or less what I would use in each filling Don't stay You regret it all too much Just wait I will find you someday So the same Yeah, she does not know That everything she Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around, throw it away. See if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose. But if I'm gonna lose you My dough is ready to be divided. First, gonna cut it in half, and then I'll cut it and then half again. So, four parts. I do this so that it's easier to work with, because then in order to work with all of this, it would be too much. So, I'm now just gonna roll them into balls and set them off to the side. And when I need them, I'll pick them up again.
Okay, so I'm now going to grab my wooden rolling pin and I'm going to start rolling this out. I'm going to teach you how to make the patty. Now, there are, I'm just going to bring the filling here. There are um, tools that you can use to make the patty itself, but I just use a cup to cut it out. And you can make it how big or small you want. Today, I will be making smaller sized ones. Just going to grab half a teaspoon, put it on the dough. going to turn over the, the dough, press down more or less with your fingers, and then you grab the cup and you cut out your little patty. And I, this is not necessary, but I like to pinch it at the ends just to make sure that it will, won't open afterwards. And that is it. That is your patty. I'm going to demonstrate it once more so that you can see how I did it. So with your product filling, you grab a little bit. I have I usually have two spoons in my pot just to help me grab it. Then half a tablespoon, I use the other spoon to push it down. And then we are just going to fold this over. Press it down with your fingers, just to block off where the filling is. And then, cut it up. And that's pretty much it. Pinching it with my fingers, just to make sure it doesn't open. And there is your patty, once again. Not complicated at all. There is a step after this. It's not ready to be cooked yet. I'm going to make more patties and... Um, once we get to the next step, I'll let you know. So these bits here, I usually just rip them off because um, they get make a risol or a patty. And I just put them into another ball so we can reuse this because it's still good. I need someone to hold my mind
Finished filling the meat rissoige or the meat patties. Um, there are 89 of these, and now we're going to move on to the next step, which is breadcrumbing them. But first, we need to put them through an egg. Um, it's not an egg wash; it's just some egg beaten, in order to the breadcrumbs to stick to them, and that way we, we can consolidate these and have more space for the rest of the patties that I'm going to be making. So that I can get things moving along, I've already put my shrimp I've already put my shrimp in the pot so it can start boiling. That way when I'm done uh, breading these ones, I'll be able to start on this filling. So I'm going to crack two eggs into this one and then I'm going to pour the breadcrumbs into this one and we're going to go, we're going to get on to breading these. down a little bit so I don't hurt my fingers. I am going to peel them. I'm going to peel them and then we're going to move on to the next step.
I just arrived from the store. I went to get more breadcrumbs, but I am now going to put a second batch of dough on the stove. So just ran out of my first batch. Um, counting it, the one batch gives about 130 more, a little bit more, 135 maybe. I'm going to fill this pot here again with the milk and the water and I'm going to get this on the stove so we can get batch 2 running and hopefully I won't have to make any more uh, dough tonight. going to do the last round of the risoish, which will be the shuris ones. I have my shuris meats over here. They're all in containers like this one. Um, they're defrosted since the morning. I'm now going to start doing the filling. I have the, um, the dough ready. We just ate dinner. I actually just fried a couple of risoish for us to eat. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get going on doing the filling because it's already 8.30 and 8.30 at night. And um, I need to finish up and I think I'm going to do another 100 before finishing, unfortunately. I've already done uh, 234 chisois or patties, however you want to call them. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the rest. I kind of want to make this part quick because it's been a long day. Show you, baby, one more 
Guys, I finally finished. Now I just have to do the cleanup. Um, it's been a long day. It's 11, 18 p.m. I didn't know it was this late, but let me show you what I have done. So here is the finished product, and there's more under these ones. I. I made a total of 205 patties out of these uh, today. I've made 71 chorizo, 89 carne or meat, and I've made 45 shrimp. And I was planning on making the tuna, like I said at the beginning of the video, but I didn't get that to that today, and thankfully I didn't decide on making them too. So, this is the end product. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned from it. And let me know what else you'd like to see from me. I just gotta end this video. I am now gonna do the cleanup. I gotta scrape all of this. <laughs> Get rid of that. Yeah, there's a lot to do still. I still have to wash all the dishes. So, yeah. But nevertheless, I cannot end this video without thanking you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, you uh, you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss future content. And I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye! You regret it all too much. Just